And uh, so now I get to the, the first question everyone asks, why are you running? Um, and the short answer is because I think we can do better. And I think I can do better for our Commonwealth and our community. And that is the short and sweet answer to it. Um, the, the landing on your head part is kind of funny and you got up and you wanted to run for office, but the real reason is let's make a difference. Um, it's very, like Jennifer said, from 30,000 feet up, it's easy to criticize politicians. And it's easy to say they should have done this and they should have done that. And why did they vote this way? Um, but it, I'm deciding to step up and take action and get involved and get you guys involved and your friends involved and your family involved and everyone involved to make a difference. And this community deserves better and it deserves different. Thank you. Every politician should have some good jokes, and I'm not even going to try one. I'm just getting used to the microphone here. So, I'm, the next speech, I'll have some good jokes. But I have something that's actually very concerning to me, and everyone is probably aware of the indictment that's just come down uh, for uh, John Prezell, uh, who is a state house member Republican, uh, who is being charged with theft and conspiracy and, and stealing from taxpayers of $10 million to help get uh, his, some of his. Uh, Republican colleagues elected. And, uh, and don't get me wrong, this is not a Republican or Democratic. There are Democrats who are, have also been charged in the same investigation by our Attorney General. And uh, what's concerning to me, and I think what's going to be concerning to everybody who lives in this community is, who did John Brazil work for when he was spending $10 million plus of taxpayers' money? Who did he help get elected in that period of time? Anyone want to take a guess? Doug Wright. And so we don't have to be mathematician, uh, we don't have to be rocket scientists to figure out the connection there that when $10 million gets funneled in and we see that money going towards to help, help candidates get elected, it's not hard to draw that connection. And I think that's very concerning because quite frankly, one of the things this community will learn is that this is not an unusual thing. There is a pattern of wasting taxpayer dollars unnecessarily on things that don't provide value to the taxpayer and do provide specific value to candidates who are running for office. And Doug Reichley is a big offender of that, and this community is going to know about it. Um, I met with uh, some great folks from uh, uh, the trades union in Allentown, and we had a very nice uh, sit down. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, Democrats. And anyone who runs for office has to stand up for themselves first, and they have to stand up for their community. And if they don't do that, the people will never know. So one of the things I told them in, in, our, in the parting words with this group of, of uh, kind of rough and tumble guys, I was a little intimidated, I have to tell you. Uh, there's a big strap and you know, these are workers. And uh, at the end of the day, at the end of that meeting, I said to them, look, this is not going to be a pretty race. This is not going to be a walk in the park. This is not going to be holding hands, strolling down the street. This is gonna be rough and tumble because there are serious, serious issues and consequences at play in this race and all the races above me. We have, a, we have a real turning point in this country and in this commonwealth about where we wanna spend our dollars and what we wanna make our investments in. And uh, we need to make that uh, distinction clear so we know what we have in our current state representative and you know what you're gonna get from your future state representative. And that's what we're going to be driving home, and, it's, and, and we are going to be aggressive, okay? Uh, I think one of the things I said is if he punches me once, he's going to get punched twice, uh, two times back. Um, and that's just the way it's going to happen. Uh, I hate to be so sort of cavalier about it, but that's, that is what I'm committing to doing, and I'm going to work for this community, and I'm going to work for every one of you to make a difference in, in our Commonwealth and make a difference in the election in 2010. So I...